from the Canadian border south to Sullivan County. But how to get them to the med center? Well, let me show you the special ambulance and one family who knows its value. Who do they look like? Uh, Connor definitely looks like Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden's feisty like me. Yeah. So. Connor and Aiden Marshall are lucky to be alive. Born at Saratoga Hospital 13 weeks early on June 15th, the babies needed specialized care at Albany Medical Center's Children's Hospital. This is how they and countless other fragile infants made the trip, a special ambulance run by Mohawk Ambulance. Without that ambulance, there's, there's no way, and we're thankful every day for it. The Marshall twins made the trip in the old rig, just retired after five years and 1,634 transports. Ambulance 33 is the replacement, with more bells and whistles, like improved monitoring. With the consoles on both sides of the ambulance, we actually can monitor the oxygen, also the temperature inside the uh, patient compartment as well. Two incubators can be utilized at the same time, and an onboard generator ensures uninterrupted power from ventilators that keep the babies breathing. We have absolutely as much uh, air, oxygen, things that we need to run the, the ventilators, and that's particularly important on the long distance trips because um, we, in the past, would have to carry extra oxygen tanks, air tanks, those kinds of things that now are on board. We don't have to bring those with us. And so it's basically a mini mobile ICU. A specially trained nurse and respiratory therapist always make the trip and now those trips are safer as there are seats with seat belts considering some transports can be a six hour round trip it's a necessity uh, the ride used to be a little bouncy more truck like and this is much more quieter I think it'll be much better for the babies as well now this is officially the first day for the new rig which will continue to serve 29 hospitals again north to the Canadian border and south to Sullivan County safe travels to all those providing the care